We pray for divine inspiration to give us the resilience we need to persevere against the present challenges. We pray for divine strength as we renew our commitment to work together to address HIV. We pray that world leaders will hear our collective voice and recommit to ending AIDS as a public threat, health threat by 2030. We pray that our religious communities will be places of hope and empowerment for people living with HIV and that each one of us will be personally engaged in making our place of worship a safe and welcoming space for all. We pray that we will always seek to be well informed about the HIV epidemic, including the latest evidence-based methods of prevention, testing and treatment. We pray that our HIV care and support services will be guided by this information, love and compassion. Pray that we will have the wisdom to engage meaningfully with people from all vulnerable, marginalized and key population groups so that their voices will be heard and that our HIV activities will address the unique needs of each person. We pray that we will resist judgmental words and attitudes that push people away from our places of worship and to seek for HIV services, care and support. And we pray that we will have the strength to stand up against HIV related stigma and discrimination within our religious communities and within society at large. We pray that we will have the determination to speak loudly and persistently about HIV. We demand that HIV prevention and treatment services be universally and equitably available to all who need them, and to demand an end to discriminatory laws and policies that are barriers to effectively addressing HIV. We pray that our religious communities will be places of hope and empowerment for people living with HIV, and each one of us will personally be engaged in making our place of worship a safe and welcoming space for all. So we pray for unity, the purpose, and to build our actions on our united shared values as to renew our commitment to work together with followers of all religious traditions to bring an end to the age of life. We pray that we will resist to judgmental words and attitudes that push people away from our places of worship and to seek HIV services, care and support. And we pray that we will have the strength to stand up against HIV related stigma and discrimination within our religious communities and within society at large. We pray that we will have the determination to speak loudly and persistently about HIV. We demand that HIV prevention and treatment services be universally and equitably available to all who need them to do and to demand an end to discriminatory laws and policies that are barriers to effectively addressing HIV. We pray for unity of purpose and to build our action on our shared values as we renew our commitments to work together with followers of all religious traditions to bring an end to the HIV and AIDS epidemic.